welcome back George Burns here today I'm going to show you how I made tags well, I'm only going to show you how I made one tag and that's these ones because these ones are my favourite favourite ones I've made these out of scraps retired papers, retired stamps well these two are retired stamps my own dies these are retired papers and retired stamps. Not so keen on these ones, but they were alright for kids. So I've got the Father Christmas. Then I did four of the Frosty, oh, I can't remember the name of the stamp set, the one with the polar bear in. Uh, I've got my winter catalog here. I cannot see I'm sure it's in this one And ha Halloween. Let's see. It definitely is in this one. Rather than try and find the stamp in my pile of stamps, I'll just sit and look through a catalogue instead. Now there it is. Warm and toasty. Not even frosty in it. Warm and toasty stamp set, and I used the polar bear. On this one, I used the penguins, our playful penguins, retired. They're quite nice. So, these are just retired, all retired papers I've used, except this one. This papers are out of the plaids, a crumb cake cardstock and the Merry Christmas come out of the Snowman Season stamp set. Right, I have cut all the tags out. I've got four here, I'm going to make another four. So I've got four crumb cake and four white. I cut more like a white and a crumb cake together. Right. I have got, let's move them out of the way, four different plaid papers and to cut out the tags I actually use the third, when they're placed like that I use this large one here. So it's the second largest of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. My snowman, my Christmas tree is actually one of my own. Don't know who made it, I've had it years. And the Merry Christmas, and also the to and from, which I haven't got out. I need that to stamp on the back. So First of all, we're going to do our stamping and then we'll cut our trees out. So, let's do these ones first. With our VersaFine ink, 
and our Merry Christmas stamp. We're going to stamp it and just pop it to the side of the tag like that. Do the same on all four of them. I thought making tags would be a nice way to close my Christmas session off. Right. These, making sure I've got the right sides, we're going to stamp our to and from on them. And just put to and from to the left of it. Like that. That's our stamping done. Get rid of that. Now, what we're going to do is stick these on the back of our crumb cake. Like that. Just remembered I forgot my hole punch. Huh. Two. That's this one I want to glue. Just go and get my hole punch as I forgot it. Read under all my other punches. <clears throat> all right. All I'm going to do is just punch a hole in the middle, like that. Now the other one, the first lot I made, I punched a hole after I put the. Um, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, punch the hole after I put the trees on. So there we are. That's that bit done. Now we just need to cut our Christmas trees out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a scrap of white and a scrap of tartan together or plaid as you call it in America now you say that's a waste it is really
Right. Put that on there. Now the reason why I'm cutting white card as well as the plaid paper is just, just to give it a bit of support. Because you um just the paper on its own will make it a bit flimsy. We'll glue them all together. So that's that one done. Now for another. That go on there. Oh yeah. Now for another white bit. I only decided last night that I would film these so I'll quickly cut all the um, bases out but not the um, trees I'm just using all the same plaid as I had for the first one. They're just all the scraps I had without cutting into a new piece. my white bit went then. Get rid of all that. Get rid of them. Put this back in here. Let's get sticking these trees together. Oh. No, we definitely don't want crumb cake on the other side. It won't show up. Two. I'm putting them that way so that I can put um, dimensions on the back of them.
These tags are so easy, it's unbelievable. Oh, I got this idea, by the way, off of Linda Hamford. She's got a YouTube channel. Um, Stamping by the Beach. I think you put in Linda Hanford and her channel's called Stamping by the Beach. Um, from last year, not this year, these are from last year. Um, yeah, I got them from her. I was just looking for some tags and this is what I come up with. She's got some beautiful cards. You need to go and check her channel out. I think Linda and I roughly started about the same time. Right, I need some thinnish bits for the top. So, might have been quicker just opening a new packet of um, mini dimensionals but we've got to use the ends up can't waste them so I think we need a little bit more support there sure they're well supported. Right, put that in there. Bring these back. I'm not fussed which one I'm placing first, I'm just picking one up. Because they're all going to go on. And we're going to just pop these like that there. To the left of the card. We don't want to cover up our Merry Christmas or the whole. There is our, let's just put that to the side. Dispose of that when I'm finished. Right, now then I need, so I also forgot. Right, on these I added little stars on the top of the now I have got a little pot here of stars that I cut out something I can't remember what and I saved them and believe it or not now's the time that silver was finding 
all the same size in gold. That's three. Let's see if I've got one more. Rid of these tiny ones and we'll use them for put them all back. Don't want them. I kept them and I thought, oh I might use them one day. And I did. Right, get my for the junk in my box my tweezers right pick these up and spot of glue on the back and I'm going to glue these down with a spike at the top Fiddly. That's all right. Oh. Caught that with my thumb. There they are. Right, our last bit to do now is just add some thread and with this I've used linen thread. We don't need too much that I do and I need four strips of this.
Now obviously the tails are too long on this if you're putting them on a parcel. That's no problem. You just get them together like I did. Pull them up. Figure what you want and chop the rest off. So there we have it. Four nice. I think they're nice. You might not think so. Tax. Christmas tax. With the to and from on the back. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.